Thanks, Andrew. And as he said, we're here with Alex Sifton, Ford for Nepean Raiders. Now, that was a rough 40 minutes for the, your boys there out on the ice. In the opening period, it was especially rough. You got Ploof and Bulak with the goals. There wasn't really any offensive possession time for the Nepean Raiders. Then in the second period, there's the three goals. Magnus got pulled. Muller went in. What, what do you think is going wrong with the team right now? That's what our uh, head coach, because um, our head coach does a good job breaking down video and things like that. And um, that's what he said for us to do, just to uh, support each other out on the ice. And uh, I think that if we do that, we'll be much more successful later on in the series. And going on that, who are some of the guys who are, do you think are going to be vocal in the dressing room right now? There's obviously their captain, Keen Hodge, and you have Brandon Watt and... Tanner Williams in there, Michael Verd, the leaders on the team. Who else, other than those guys who have the letters, numbers, letters on the chest, sorry, are really going to be out there? Um, I would say that uh, somebody like Ryan Mulder, you know, um, he's experienced a lot in this league, and he knows what it takes to win, and he's just, uh, he's a really good person that has a lot of respect in the room, and also maybe somebody like Mac McSorley. Um, he played in the USHL last year, and he's just a really good person, and he uh, has a lot of experience, so I would say those two guys. And now, talking a bit about your career, you're finished up, you finished up your second season in the CCHL. Last year, you started with Gloucester with 20 games. And then you got traded to Nepean. You played three games there, and you got 31 games under your belt this year. So you've had a pretty good career so far. What are you expecting next year? Like, you mostly mostly play third or fourth time minutes. You're a big guy. You like to go to the night. You like to grind out. Are you really comfortable playing that role, or do you want to maybe see increased ice time, maybe try and get a more offensive role next year? Yeah, um, obviously the junior hockey experience is a learning experience and obviously as you start to get older you uh sort of your role kind of increases so obviously next year um i kind of will hopefully get some more ice time but you know this year is just a uh, learning experience to be with the raiders and we have a really good team so um i'm just happy to be a part of it and uh we have a good team so hopefully we can make some noise here in the postseason now Going into the third period here, what are some things that the Raiders have to do to come back in this game? It, scoring four goals, especially against Corey Simic, is going to be a very, very tough challenge. It's going to be tough to score on him all series. What are some keys that the Raiders can do that you've noticed in the period that can, they can change instantly? You know, I think uh, one thing we need to do is uh, get all pucks towards the net and just, you know, we sometimes don't get uh, grade-A scoring chances, but if we just shoot all over the place and everything towards the net, I think, obviously, when you shoot the puck, you have, you have a good chance of scoring. So, yeah. Now, what role are you going to play here in this series? You're obviously scratched today, but uh, when are you hopefully going to be coming in and bringing your strength and your speed into the game? Um, you know, I, I just hope to, uh, to bring a uh, grinder role, and, um, and we'll see how it goes. I'm not quite sure when I'm going to be in this series, but... Hopefully I can just bring uh, a lot of energy and get the boys going and all that type of stuff. So. Now, one person who's done that very successfully is Jody Sullivan. That oh. seems to be his role in the team. Do you expect him to play a lot of minutes in the third period? He didn't really play that much in the second period. Yeah, I think, um, you know, he's a, he's a heart and soul type of guy. Like, he's the guy you want to have on your team. He sticks up for all the for all the guys, and uh, you wouldn't you can't really ask for a better teammate. You know, he's obviously probably the toughest guy um, on our team, and maybe even in the league. So it's good to have him. And I think that about does it here. Thanks for joining us, Alex. Yep. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.